Dyslexia is genetic, and we can see differences in the brain of infants. There are differences in how the neurons go, migrate to different places. So there are, and we're still so much we don't know. It's the beauty of it. You know, it's not, I tell every parent that I'm a researcher. I'm a mother. I'm a mother of a child with dyslexia who I had done all this research, and then it's like, what? <laughs> I have a dyslexic child. Well, how? I, I know it's genetic. Where does this come from? And then I discover all these people in both families who had never been diagnosed or who had and who didn't tell people because they thought there was something wrong. Parents and teachers have to understand, A, it exists. B, it has nothing to do with intelligence. C, there can be different forms, and different languages have more that's predominant. Four, it should be diagnosed early so the child doesn't suffer and think something's wrong with them. So those four things are really important. We have four different types of profiles. One, especially in English, is this phoning-driven one. They haven't represented the sounds, and they haven't been able to connect them to the visual symbol. Then another one is this plus short-term memory. So memory is not, memory at, the, at this very, very, not memory for long-term things, but just holding it in memory long enough to remember what a word looks like and what it sounds like and what it means. That memory has to be worked on. That child needs practice, practice, practice to learn those correspondence. More prevalent in French and in English. Not as much in Italian. Third form is when that circuit is not working fast enough. Then this fourth group, this is a uh, motley, this is a mix, a real mix. And we still don't know whether part of it is vision for some of them. Part of it is a developmental language delay. I, Leonardo da Vinci is my favorite example. If I were living then or he was living now, no question, no question, he's dyslexic. He's the perfect dyslexic. He couldn't retrieve words easily. He couldn't learn Latin. He'd have these lists. His spelling was messed up on that. But on the other hand, this fabulous capacity to think and create and see things differently. His visual system, he could see things three-dimensionally. I could never, never. So what he represents to me is the best example of the hardest aspects of dyslexia and the best. And that's what every parent and teacher should know. Mm -hmm.